good morning and good night and welcome back to another trevin versus nft video basically focusing on near and solana today's video we're going to be focusing on a collection on near protocol called the murder mystery collective and if you don't already know what this is it is a clue style of game but it's on the blockchain so this is just a little snippet into what the actual nft and storyline might possibly look like so we have the case john norris a reporter for the german country times the community pest was discovered in the parking lot of the new fsm superstore apparently murdered under the presence that he was covering the store's grand opening john was actually investigating a possible conspiracy after receiving a strange email with the subject heading there's more than a store i love this so far it really just gets you involved in the plot line of what is to come and we're gonna dive into how it will actually work so what they'll be doing is they'll be having two different collections so the first one which is actually gonna be minting on february 1st and what i like about this is the collection size is only 550 so it's a very small limited supply but they're also coming out with a gen 2 or undercover pups which is going to be a larger supply but the mint price will be a lot smaller currently right now to sign in or to get whitelist it is 10 near which is truly not that bad uh, compared to basically other pricing with nfts in general and then you are going to be paying 15 near for the public mint then we have the staking or investigate clues so you can mint and stake clues to reveal what's actually on the game map so this just adds more understanding of why nfts and the blockchain technology will be so amazing to see in the future because you're able to basically unlock these and have physical items on your wallet that are the clues and then they show up on the map which just adds more value to the game itself so you're already enjoying the fun time of trying to figure out who done did it and then on the discord there will also be forums that are able to discuss with community members about who possibly was able to do that so they already have a lot of clues and just a bunch of the characters already on the discord which i will link down below so you can just really get involved in the, well, the multiverse how i kind of see it but it is a game and what i think is even more cool is they're actually making seasons so just like any other game that you play online they have certain seasons that are like either like one or two for the entire year and what you'll be able to do is at the very end of the season one week before you'll be able to have one guess and one guess only but if you would like to then add more guesses you either have to get another nft or which i'll be talking about next is to get your solve and earn so basically solve and earn will be their token or their lspl token part of the project so you'll be able to guess the method um the motive and who done did it and then the earn you'll be able to use uh, solve basically to earn rewards down the line so the roadmap right now we're looking at quarter one to do the two collections so we have the detective collection which is the 550 and then we have the undercover pups which are coming we currently don't know what the collection size will be but then jumping into quarter two is and that's when we see the solve token there will be a pre-sale and public sale so there will be an lp and then this is where season one launches and the game launches and then you're able to use the clue minting and the staking for your benefit and then quarter three we're looking to kind of close season one and then slowly give more announcements on season two which is super exciting so there's a lot coming for this project overall and here are the sneak peeks i personally love it i will be i'm gonna say i'm a little biased on the pups i feel like the pups look a little bit more fun but the detective outfits are super amazing too. And they have so many amazing different traits. And I do have to give props to the collection. The art is clean. It's different. And I can see a lot of people repping these as a PFP on Twitter or Discord or anywhere else. Because it does have the nice cartoon vibe. But also the clean, nice niche of 
the outline. So step two is if you go to fewfar.com, they're actually launching on this site. This is a up and coming NFT marketplace on your protocol and I'm very bullish on them. They have a nice clean UI and they're adding more projects as they go. And they're also going to be doing their own token itself called FAR. So definitely keep an eye on fifar.com. Next, what you want to do is go to Launchpad. And what they did, which is actually really cool. So instead of grinding for whitelist and trying to kill yourself to get whitelist, you're actually able to get the whitelist through the website itself. So all I have to do is go to the Launchpad, click on this, hit View Launch. And then you're going to sign into your near protocol, basically wallet on the top right. Once you're signed up, it will then open saying you are connected. Then you'll be connecting your Twitter and then also Discord where you'll basically follow them on Twitter and then also on their Discord channel. And once that's all done, you have whitelist and you're good to go. So whitelist price is or allow list price is 10 near. And then for public price, it will be 15 near. I'm really looking forward to this project. I have a lot of faith because for the most part, their first collection is super, super small. There's only 550 and they already have the game developed and they're just looking to mint and then move on so you can start playing. Like I said before, 2023, in my opinion, is going to be the year of gaming for NFTs. We're going to be seeing a bunch of different NFTs. You'll also be seeing more action and more live streams on this channel itself to basically show you games I found on different blockchains that are fun to play and also just bring back memories of gaming like the good old days. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did, like and subscribe and comment and I'll see you later. Peace.